these hotels right here. Now, these little curtain things that you see on the top of the parking lot structure entrance, those are to hide like the faces of the people going in and out of the cars and all that. So, you know, they won't uh, they won't really feel judged by everyone else who's walking around them outside. So, fucking starving. I was up since six in the morning, and I came out around 9:30, and then I saw the sign. It said they're not going to be open until 10:30. So, yeah, we're here. Sometimes you have to take off your shoes. And then when you go on the table, they usually have little neck dispensers like that. And then also the utensils box. So they usually, they rarely ever have forks. Like you might have to ask them for it, they might have it. But it's usually just spoons and chopsticks. <laughs>
came out to buy cigarettes earlier, but I couldn't find, or they asked for my ID, I left it at home, and, you know, I told them I was from America, so I don't even have a Korean ID, and, you know, they told me to fuck off, pretty much, but, um, I guess you don't need to be 18 to buy a lighter, though, so, find out. So this one lighter, caught it, um, this lighter, 40 cents, actually, you know what, it would probably be like 35, in between 35 and 40 cents, because, you know, the, um, American money is, you know, uh, worth a bit more. So one thing about Korean, Korean television is that as long as a cigarette is not lit, cigarette is not late. They can show it on screen, they can do whatever the hell they want with it, but as soon as it's lit, like, no, you can't. And then it's funny, when you watch shows, and then, dude, finally, I just, ooh, that's the first one I've seen. So one thing you realize when you're walking on the streets or in the alleyways is that most of these family businesses, they're not allowed to display their product out on the street. So, because they have um, security cameras literally on every block, so if anybody happens to try to steal them, they'll, you know, eventually get caught, so like they don't even try. How you doing? Pretty good. Where are you from? Oh, you don't mind if I'm recording, do you? Oh, you're recording? Yeah. <laughs> I used to be from this neighborhood 20 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. What, were you, what were you doing here 20 years ago? Uh, I was working at the university. Oh, okay, that's cool. It was boring here. Oh, nice. It's like more nostalgic. <laughs> that's nice. Where are you going? Um, I came back, or I came from the States about three days ago from California. I used to live in California, too. Really? Um, I used to live in... Uh, you know where South Bay is? Yeah. Near LA, yeah. Um, I used to live over there, and uh, I did some stupid stuff, and you know, my parents thought it would be better for me to come out here, oh, right. so I can kind of get my shit together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. My first interaction with a white man. I guess they're building a 7-Eleven here. stores fucking everywhere, man. Dude, there's no the arcade. You know, I barely see any arcades anymore. You know, they got like a little shooting range in there. I might go in there, actually. I'm gonna try something out. I, have, I haven't been to an arcade in too long. Hello.
Okay, so I just got done with that. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, 35 rounds. I got all nine shots. It took me a while, but I still did it. Um, let's see. Now, you know what? I actually know where I am. I'm not lost, so I'm going to walk that way because that's the way home. Hey, guys. I forgot to say this while I was recording that last bit, but, um... If you have any questions or if you want to know certain things about Korea, if you want to see certain things over here, I can always, you know, try my best to go check it out, do some research, and then go out there, try, you know, finding out more info. But, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that.